Hey, what's up? I'm gonna keep this short and brief. Um, normally I wouldn't even like try to address this, but I hate when people that have positions of power do like fuck shit. And while I've been purposely like trying to steer away from like anything political and whatnot, just because I discuss politics a lot in my normal life, a lot. So I like to diversify things. I like to, you know, if I discuss something a lot in my normal life, I don't want to do it online as well. You know what I'm saying? You need balance. With that being said, what Stephen A. Smith just did, it has annoyed me to the point where I have to make a video on it. It's going to be very short and to the point as you already see what the title is. So Stephen A. Smith lied about the whole Kwame Brown thing, saying that nobody attacked him personally, blah, 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 blah. They kept it all strictly basketball. Here's the clip right here. Nothing personal. Never have. And no one out here has been attacking him personally either. That includes Gilbert Arenas, who did not attack him personally. It includes Steven Jackson, who did not attack him personally. It includes Matt Barnes, who he really got personal about. And Matt Barnes never said a word. Now, the outright problem with that is, here's the clip that started the whole ordeal. And it's when Matt Barnes and... Uh, uh, Steven Jackson, we're talking to Jeannie Buss and Kwame Brown is brought up. Right before the trade deadline, we get Pal Gasol and then we just went on a tear. Like, Pal learned the triangle in two days. Ooh, like, super it, smart. It, super smart. And it just, it was like. Uh, did you and guys now, thank Jerry? Because wasn't Jerry over in Memphis and gave you guys Pal? <laughs> <laughs> well, we traded Mark, Mark Gasol, yeah, that's what people, right? People, oh, you got him for nothing, not yeah. realizing that what you guys gave yeah. him was Mark Gasol. And Kwame Brown. And yeah. so, Mark um, and, right. um, Mark so, oh, do you play with Mark? <laughs> no, 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 no this, that was no. a one man trade. You just <laughs> used the name. He was, that name was just there. So, so now we get past. So how the fuck is that just strictly basketball? Like. I'm not even part of this whole Kwame Brown bandwagon. I've watched his videos and I agree with some of the things he said and I disagree with some of the other things he said, especially once it goes towards like the sociological and political aspect because it's like, bro, uh, you're just speaking some bullshit. But that's neither here nor there. As what he responded to or the reason, you know, he finally said enough is enough. It was correct. If he, there was no reason for Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson to do that shit right there. When she brought up Kwame Brown was also in a trade. If they said nothing and just segued into the next topic, what we have now that's going on for the last week doesn't exist. Doesn't happen. Because it was that. And then the following uh, podcast with Gilbert, where it seems like he was like, okay, I'm going to say something back. You know, I'm going to defend mine because y'all are attacking me. It was one of those things where, I'm not coming, I'm coming into, you know, I remember Kwame Brown's there, so he's the franchise. First pick. Yeah, he's a, he's a franchise, you know. Yeah, um, Matt, Matt was just talking, the, uh, the previous show we just had, how good uh, Kwame was. The one man trade, you just <laughs> used the name. He was, that name was just there. So Y'all killed a man. No, I didn't no, say nothing Matt, about Matt, it. Matt was like, that was one of the, you know, top number one picks that could ever, ever round, right? Yo, so here you go. I'm just saying what Matt Matt said this shit. I Matt, had so nothing to say. Matt didn't say shit. Matt said, so Matt said Kwame was one of the coldest, <laughs> one of the number, best number one picks ever of all time. He could have been. He was in his right to do so. But for Stephen A. Smith to just blatantly lie and say it was all strictly basketball. Man, motherfucker, no, it wasn't. Shut up. Now, as I'm making this, Kwame Brown's already responded to him, uh, well, is responding to him on his live, and that's not neither here nor there for me. It's just, it really irks me when somebody has a position of power and they just blatantly lie about shit, my nigga. Like, there's no reason to do that. Like, just be, just be straight up. There's no reason to lie about something that everybody can see. I don't do that. I'm a very in-your-face type person. Like, if I have something I gotta say, if I, you fucked up or some shit, I'm gonna let you know. No, there's no reason to lie. Like, just own your mistake. Say say the truth. Say Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson didn't need to do that shit. They did. And now you are where you are. But go oh, oh, blatantly saying that, oh, man, they kept it strictly basketball when it wasn't strictly basketball. Fuck off. That's all I really have to say on this topic. I'm going back to talk about video games and other stuff. I have actually a few videos that are about video games. I don't really know how they're going to work. So I'm trying something new because this channel is really just me just doing whatever I want to do. And trying to avoid these type of topics because I talk about them too much in my normal life. Either ways, see y'all in the next video, whenever that is.